What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another banger today, guys, on this week's edition of Will You Sleep or Will You Keep? Let ride. Guys, it is a big week in sneakers, not because of what's releasing this week. Well, some things are releasing that are dope, but of the leaked news that has came along with it. Let's first and foremost, give a huge, huge, huge congratulations to the Los Angeles Lakers on their 17th championship, baby. Y'all know what it is, man. King James, AD, KCP, salute to your brother, Rondo, and all the above, man. It's so good to see my purple and gold once again floating in the banners with another championship. I've been through it all, man. Ten years waiting. I waited patiently. I took the I took the the, the trash talking left and right. If you don't know, no, I'm not a I'm not a Hawks fan. I'm born in LA. I'm raised in the A. I love Atlanta. It is my home, but I've been born into this purple and gold since I was in my daddy's nut sacks. Okay, so leave it alone. Leave it alone. But with that being said, I'm just enjoying my victory, man. To start things off this week, we have releasing on the 14th, the Jordan 1 Lucky Green. We just did a review on that. Go and check it out. The review is live. It's the last video, the video right before this one. I had tons of things to say about it. I actually love the shoe. I started off hating the shoe. I started off not liking the shoe. I talked bad about the shoe. And then when I got the shoe in my hand, it made me eat my words. Like, it is what it is. Like. I, I contradicted my I'm, I, I'm, I contradicted myself. I, I I got caught lacking. When I saw them, it changed my mind. The shoes are dope. Go and check out the review. Hear it yourself. See it yourself. I think this release is going to be amazing. I think it's going to have a lot of hype behind it. So keep your eyes peeled. And ladies, y'all are getting bangers left and right. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little jealous, but y'all deserve it. We also have releasing on the 14th. This is hard for me to say. Reboxes. Rebox. Halloween collection, and that is of the Shaq Gnosis, the Question Mid, and the Kamikaze. The Question Mid is the Ankle Reaper. Retail on is $150. I think it's a good looking shoe. I love the color, that tan, or I don't, it looks like a tan egg white, something of that nature. All upper looks as if it's suede. It doesn't really give the Halloween vibes like the other two. However, it's a dope looking shoe in concept in my opinion. The Shaq Gnosis Webs is retailing at $140 and it has the spider web on it. It has some type of spooky effect going on. And huge shout out to Reebok for releasing this on the 14th and giving us time to actually rock it during this spooky season, during this month of October. Something that I think Nike needs to take some sort of notes on. But the Shaq Gnosis at $140, it's a dope looking shoe, but it's, I would say it's the least favorite out of the three. And then last but not least, we have the Kamikaze 2 of the Jack Okazi, I guess they would call it. Uh, retailing at $120 is more so my favorite out of the three. And it's the cheapest out of the three, the Kamikaze. I don't think I've actually ever owned a pair of Kamikazes. Dope looking shoe, just something I haven't grabbed. One of my favorites of all time are the uh, the Alamon, uh, I think it's the Alamo, the Alamos or something like yeah, the Alamo, the one that released during like one of the all-star weekends. And then also you had, I think it was like the chili peppers, the red hot chili peppers or something, chili peppers, something like that. Um, I know Zaya X once had the shoe. It was a dope looking color. It's like a red with some pinks going on. Two of my favorite kamikazes ever released and two that I struck out on. But this Jackal Craze, I would definitely, um, I think I can, I, I'm gonna grab this one for sure, like 100%, even if, it uh, like not Reebok is more likely not gonna get this one to me, but if they can, it is. I doubt they'll get it. I'll go grab it because I think it's gonna sit. I don't think it'll sell out, but if it does, hey man, salute to Reebok once again. But I definitely wanna add this to the arsenal. And it's a shoe that I can wear outside of October. I can rock this any month. I can rock this in Thanksgiving. Orange, it pops. Ninja has another collaboration alongside with Adidas on his Time In collection, which is two colorways of a night jogger and two colorways of a ZX torsion. Pretty basic colorways. I think these are pretty dope in my opinion. I like the orange one. The orange reminds me a lot of Goku vibes or Naruto. I Naruto, Naruto, Naruto forgive me. You Naruto, Naruto, forgive me. I know it's blasphemy. I know I'm speaking blasphemy, blasphemy, but I didn't grow up on that. I didn't watch that. Okay, I'm a DBZ guy, okay? You can go ahead and talk your shit in the comments, but 
Naruto, Naruto. I think it's Naruto. I would say it's Naruto. N A R U T O. I think it's Naruto. But it has those vibes going on. You feel what I'm saying? That orange and blue. The retail price point, the joggers are 150 and the ZX torsion is 160. Salutes to Ninja. I can only respect it seeing content creators out there getting these shoe collaborations once again. And looking back at it, bro, am I the first ever content creator to get a collaboration with a sneaker company? And when I say I, I mean me, Bull, T Blake, DJ Dells, the Ass Kicks. Former Simpson, uh, Yo Ante, uh, Sneaker Shout, Sneakerhead in the Bay. Are we like the first content creators to ever have a collaboration with a shoe? If so, that's monumental. Adidas is also supposed to be dropping on the 14th. The Ultra 4D retailing at $220. And it's good to finally see 4Ds coming down in these price points. Remember, these things started at $400. Now we're at $220, which is very close to Ultra Boost prices at $180. Yet, I have yet to get 4D on my feet. I fell 40 one time from 2Js. 2Js had like the first 40 ever Adidas sample and I put it on my feet and I can't say, I, I can't lie, the 40 is very, very comfortable, if not more comfortable to Boost in my opinion. Some people will say 40 is more comfortable. Some people will say that Boost is more comfortable. Shout out to Big Boy Chang. He said he likes 40 more. So yeah, I mean, it's different and I think it's dope. I'll be on the lookout, but I don't think I'm gonna be actually copping this. I'll wait till I find something more appealing. Maybe some 40 night joggers or something like that. Adidas, take notes. Reebok also has another pack dropping on the 15th, which is called the Peace Train. And it's bringing a lot of different shoes together. One being the Reebok Club C, the other one being the Reebok Classic, and the last but not least, the Kamikaze. I like the Kamikaze out of the bunch, in my opinion. The Club C and the Classics are going for $100. The Kamikaze going for 120. So something dope. Shout out to Reebok once again, bringing the bangers. I like the way they did the colors. The peace train is to bring unity and peace to all and everyone. And we do need that in this world, especially right now. And, uh, you know, salutes to Reebok for doing that. Salutes to them. A big drop, though, this week, I would say, is coming from Nike on the 15th. And that is of the Nike Air Raid. The Air Raid has been you know, boiling now. It's one of the top shoes releasing of the month of October that I did not put on my list either because I didn't know at the time that it was releasing. It's an OG shoe coming in an OG colorway. The Air Raid has been a classic for many, many years. And I expect these to do pretty well. I expect these to sell out at least online. They may sit in stores. I don't know. But I do know that these will ring bells for a lot of the OGs out there, a lot of the older guys out there. For me personally, I am going to pass. Nothing against the shoe but I'm going to pass. It's retailing at $140 and I'm good right now. I'm good. It's a black and gray shoe, a lot of neutrals, so you can rock it with anything. But for me personally, I would do better without it right now. We also have releasing on the 15th, the Foam Posit Anthracite. We're seeing the foams come back possibly. Nicole's brother Tito, my future brother-in-law, my brother, he's telling me that he thinks foams is next to pop back up. He was already on the dunk wave. The dunk wave came. I told y'all about the dunk wave back in 2018. He's he's suspecting that phones will be making their appearance. And it's a possibility. But there is one thing for sure that I think is going to be making somewhat of an appearance later on to 2021. It's already made an appearance now. We'll talk about that one a little bit later. But these are releasing at a retail price point of 230 which is one of the reasons why I think phones are hurting. The price is just too much. 230 they're like, nah, I'm straight. However, many of y'all stated, Foams have been the same price since 1997. So, what's the fuss? Also releasing on the 15th is the Kobe 5 Pro Tro 5 Rings. I like that, that's a, good, that's a good shoe to drop right about now. You know what I'm saying? LeBron got four, Kobe got five, I like it. I like it a lot. Retail on this will be $180, and this will be, it's an instant L. And then last but not least, releasing this upcoming weekend on the 16th, we have the Jordan 4 Union. The Union 4 is finally releasing in a bigger, aspect we know it released originally back last month on union's website the two pairs one being an exclusive on union supposedly this uh the the, the the navy pair being one that will be released later on on the sneakers app now it's being released on the sneakers app on the 16th so be on the lookout for your upcoming l in leak news the biggest news of them all the news that i wanted to talk about this week is the fact that nike basketball will be making a return it's already made a return in 2020 with the retros of LeBron's, man. The only thing is, I'm curious to know is how they're going to do. We saw a lot of shoes released this year from LeBron that didn't really sell out, that went below retail. I'm curious to know, are we going to allow that same thing to happen 
with shoes like the Miami Night Low 8. The LeBron 8 Miami Night Low is releasing next year in spring 2021. It is what it is. Like I stated before, Fairfax dropped this year. Fairfax were PEs. They sat. They went below retail. All-Star 7s, whenever it was released, they did well. They sat. Red carpets, they sat. A lot of a, a lot of sevens dropped and sat this year, which was weird. So I'm, so I'm curious to know, are we going to get that same aspect with the Miami Knights? I don't think so, but I would love it to happen. I would love that to happen. It's going to be a big year, man. Miami, the Miami Knights, the lows, the eights, they go for crazy. They go for thousands. Now they're finally coming back in 2021, which leads me to the next one that just got confirmed now. And that is LeBron 8 South Beach. Ooh. God damn, why? Can I, can I, oh, let me just, let me see if I can, got <laughs> LeBron 8 South Beach is releasing next year, 2021. It's going to be big. Is Nike coming back stronger than ever? I think so. You got LeBron 8s dropping in colorways. LeBron 8 is, it's, it, look, the sevens drop, the eights are coming. All year long, you got LeBron A's dropping. You got Kobe 6's dropping all next year. Kobe 6 Grinch. Now LeBron A's South Beaches. What, what? What more do you want from me? It's popping. Panties dropping. So with that being said, Nike basketball is coming back, baby. It, it, it's coming back. Hopefully we get something crazy for All-Star Weekend next year so we can get back at it, man. I love those days, the, the big bangs and the foams and and the, you know, the Kobe Christmas, LeBron Christmas, all that, like, we need that back, man. We need that back. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully they can do it. We've seen better looks and better images of an upcoming Jordan 1 alternate Travis Scott, the Jordan 1 Travis Scott. It seems almost like the original one, but the colors are flipped. It seems like a lot of the whites went where the browns were and a lot of the browns went where the whites were. It's like a flipped version almost of it. It is what it is. There's rendered images floating around of it. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I'm straight. I'm straight. We also had the LeBron 18 mint or mel melon tint. My bad. Melon tint. Is it, was it, is it called? Yeah, melon tint. These are the shoes that LeBron wore when he won in the finals. And I think these shoes are dope. The color is dope. Is this going to be more so something that I, a lot of shoes I buy that are dope and that the colors are dope, but I don't have much to match with it. So we'll have to just wait and see more about that. I would like to get one of these 18s in my collection. They look awesome in my opinion. And the way LeBron has them when they look on feet, they look real nice. They have like a nice mid to low cut. So i like to know more about it, like to see more about it. And I would like to add one of these to the collection down the road in my opinion. So we'll have to see how that goes. But this one would be a good one because he won the championship with it. We have information and images of a new Supreme and Nike collaboration on one of my favorite models, the Air Max Plus TN or the Air Max Plus. So I'm reading off here because I, it's kind of mixed up. There's like three different models, a white one, a green solary look, like an infrared type that I like a lot. And then there's like another red, purple, black, black, purplish red, almost like a fire or something, right? Supposedly the release dates on one is the 15th and the other is November 1st. I don't really know on this. So just keep your eyes peeled for the 15th, I guess. But uh, I don't know much about this. I'm more so just giving you guys a heads up that something's coming soon. Images are actually here. And two release dates that were stated by Sneaker Bar Detroit was the 15th and the 1st. Of November. And then we also got some more women's exclusive releasing in February on the 12th. We have a Jordan 1 silver toe. Quality of the leather looks really good. Magnificent. The shoe, the way they took it, you could tell that the sole wasn't even attached to the shoe. So I don't know if that's the finalized on the sole. It may be. So you just got to kind of take it for what it is. But the quality of the leather and all that, it looks dope. Looks like another extended size women exclusive. But hey, man, women, y'all doing y'all thug thizzle. Salutes. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for everything y'all have always blessed your boy with. And I have some big news coming very, 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 very soon. So stay tuned on that. I love y'all. See y'all in the next one. And it's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in, man. I'm checking out. Peace.